Okay, so we're going to start with question number one. We're going to learn how we can convert fractions to decimals. So I have an example question written here. Which fraction is equivalent to 0.35? So the rule to this is if you can read this decimal, then you can put it in a fraction very easily. So I have a list of how we can solve it. First, you read the decimal. So if you want to read 0.35, you would say 35 hundredths. So I'm going to write down 35 hundredths. I already have it written down here, but you can write it down on your piece of paper. And so the number word or whatever number it is, so 35 in this example, that will be the numerator. So we will put 35 on top. And then the place value word or the place value showing like where that decimal ends is going to be the denominator. So hundreds is gonna be the denominator. So if you look at this next example here, if you look at how it's done, that's exactly what we did. So we started with 35 hundredths, we wrote it out because that's how you say it. The 35, the number word was written on top and the hundredths was written on the bottom. And so we wrote 3,500 as the fraction. So now we're going to continue and we're going to go ahead and go on to our next one. So we're now going to try to write this decimal as a fraction. The very first step is to read the decimal. So we're going to read it as 23 hundredths. So after we read it, we write down 23 hundredths. And now we're gonna use the number word as the numerator. So the number word, remember, is the whatever number that you said. So 23, so the top of the fraction is gonna be 23, and the denominator is going to be the place value word. And that place value word that we read was hundredths. So 100 is going to be the denominator. So 23 hundredths is 23 over 100 written as a fraction. So it's very simple. If you can read it, then you can write it. So we're going to try this again now with 0.62. So how do we read 0.62? The right way to read that would be 62 hundredths. So Again, the number word is the numerator, so 62 is a numerator, and hundredths, 100, would be the denominator. So this fraction would be 62 over 100 before it's reduced. So I wrote this as the steps that you need to take. If it's easy for you to read a decimal, then it should be easy to, for you to put it into a fraction. But what if you're saying, Miss Amber, this is too hard for me to do. It's too hard for me to even know like how to read a decimal in the first place. So this is a still struggling part. So if you're still struggling, you may either need to practice placing decimals in place value charts, identifying place values, or reading decimals. So let's practice just placing this decimal in a place value chart. So it's 0.362. You put the point where the point is, you put the three, you put the six, and you put the two. All right, perfect. So now it's saying which digit is in the tenths place. So now that it's in the place value chart, you just look for the tenths place and you ask yourself what digit is in the tenths place, number three. Okay, so what digit is in the hundreds place? You can look at the hundreds place and you see six, what digit is in the thousands place? It's two. Okay. So how would you read 0 0.362? Well, when you're reading a decimal, the steps are right underneath. First, you say the whole number. So we would say 362. So I'm going to write that 362. And then you say whichever place value the last digit is in. So the last digit is in the thousands place. So we would say thousands. So 362 thousands.